With rich soils, rolling hills and lush green landscapes in Uganda, there is a vast potential for agriculture to thrive and it's the key source of food and income for millions of smallholder farmers across the country. But despite this, today's farmers face weighty challenges. Rural poverty is high, yields are far below their potential, and highland areas like Kabale, heavy rain regularly wipes out farmers' crops, bringing devastating impacts for rural communities. In the 1998, there were a lot of Erinino rains in this particular area. And that's when uh, the whole village was swept by the landslides. Some of the people had to we, we actually evacuated from the village and we locate, relocated elsewhere. Uh, the gardens were, were submerged under the debris, so it was really total havoc in the village. In 1998, the people of Chantobi village approached the World Agroforestry Center, ICRAF, which provided support with tree planting and land management using a watershed approach to help the community stabilize the slopes and control erosion. The people have been able to somehow manage the problem. For example, this is a rainy season and you can see that the people can still grow crops here. I am a man who is a man who is Agroforestry is the deliberate integration of trees on farms. The World Agroforestry Center has been making a difference in Uganda since 1994. Trees, a valued part of our culture, our livelihoods, our biodiversity, our nutrition. New research is also assessing the role of indigenous trees in enhancing resilience to effects of climate change in the drylands of northern Uganda. The native shea tree, which grows in the northern and northeastern parts of Uganda, is thought to be especially important for improving the yield of some agricultural crops. Shea also brings valuable income for rural communities. We grow for one or two years. We grow for one year and a bit. Then we grow for one year and a bit. We grow for one year and a bit. We grow for one year and a bit. Mayani <laughs> When you look at the indigenous trees, um, a, 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 for instance, a shea tree, at the moment it is uh, being threatened because of its, it, like it's used for charcoal. It's being cut down at high rate. So as a research institute, um, we felt that it was necessary to kind of uh, multiply it and, uh, and domesticate it. Because in this part of the country, it is believed that it's, it grows naturally by itself. We are trying to do some bit of tissue culture as a, one of the other ways of, of producing party materials with a reduced fruiting period. Then also we're trying to do some silviculture. You know, how do we manage these trees on farm? The farmers are saying that, you know, we can't put uh, trees on our farms. So how can we manage them? So here we, we, are, we are looking at how do you space these trees? How do you prune them? So that, you know, the crops down can receive some light and you have the trees at the same time. When interventions in agroforestry had just started, we saw a lot of uh, exotic introductions. And uh, the local farmers took this as the mystery trees, trees that can solve every problem. And there was a tendency for them to ignore the indigenous tree species, which are locally adapted to their environments. And so we saw a shift in farmers wanting to prefer exotics Yet these indigenous tree species can also serve the same purpose if well introduced and managed. 
So that's where now our focus is, trying to integrate the indigenous tree species into agroforestry systems. So we need to keep a balance of the exotics and the indigenous, because if the exotics succumb to diseases, then it can all be disastrous. Yet the indigenous can well adapt to any, some of these problems that come. Most people agree that planting more trees on farms is to be encouraged, but deforestation, especially for charcoal, is a major challenge for Uganda. As far as charcoal is concerned, over 95% of the people use charcoal and firewood for cooking. It all comes to wood. So on a daily basis, every home almost in Uganda uses uh, charcoal and firewood. And in the rural areas, it's about 100% of that population. People are just removing trees that are found in the wild. Some of the people are converting some of the private forests that they, they, they have into uh, producing charcoal, and then the land is converted to agriculture. To combat declining forests, experts say growing trees on farms will be critical to ensure that people can still get the products and services they need from trees while improving tree cover in the country as a whole. The focus has been on the large-scale growing of trees. But our research uh, demonstrates that when you involve small-scale farmers planting trees on their farms in different arrangements in a large kind of area, what we call the landscape approach, you are able to achieve the same impacts so or the same kind of volumes of trees what the large-scale planting does. More so, the small-scale farmers, they will be planting a mix of trees which are really very good for our environment. In Kapchora in the east of Uganda, reserves have been created to protect original forests. This means communities need more than ever trees on farms to get the food and the products they need, such as timber and firewood, as well as feed for cattle. <laughs> The Land Care Project has worked extensively with the community here in Tegeres village and has provided support and trainings to bring farmers together and to help them manage their land. ICRAF and partners in Uganda have been promoting the land care approach over the last 15 years. And this has shown that farmers can really be good stewards of the land that they farm. Trees in agroforestry systems are working trees. In Uganda, Kalyandra is widely used on farms and its protein-rich leaves help cows produce more milk. Land care partners are also helping groups market their produce, including women's cooperatives who are running successful dairy businesses in the highland areas. Women were, were left be behind at first. We were not even allowed to be going for meetings. Men could go for meetings alone. They has now changed. They can now elect uh, even a woman to lead all the people. Like now I'm the chairperson and I'm also chairing women and men and youth. Working with partners, the World Agroforestry Center is working across many diverse regions of Uganda to promote the greater adoption of trees on farms in a way that brings greater wins for people and the environment. We have seen successes in agroforestry in some parts of this country. We, we had farmers that we worked with 10 years ago. We started from nowhere in a village that was bare without trees and within three years they were able to harvest them and it gives us a hope that you know agroforestry is something that can put money in the pockets of the farmers. Apart from the environmental services, there's also the economic benefit that the farmers are having.
na kusente buti kaingira ku munsa natunde michungwa natunda ne miti na gula mproti ibiri buti kuba tali ngati kisubira anti sobola kugula zena proti obo kuzimba enumba agroforestry is climate smart and helps farmers to produce more from the same land sustainably a healthy productive future for uganda is trees on farms